Winter is the season where we often seek warmth. Hot chocolate, warm soup, fluffy sweater, sitting closer to each other, holding hands, listen to each other's hearts. The contrast difference from the cold outside and the warmth that we make bring solace to our souls. Even when some of us live in a place where there is no winter, people still celebrate holiday season with warmth of the loved one. Winter also becomes the season where we take time to be grateful for a whole year and to dream for the next year. Do you remember when was the last time you wrote a bucket list? It's a list of dreams that all of us at least once in our life have ever written it. That must be the time when we are full of wonders for life, maybe in our childhood or teenage years. What we wrote there are the things that we truly want to do, things we want to experience, our dreams, hope, and faith for the future. Over the years, what we want might change. But do you remember the sparks when you wrote your own bucket list? In some movies where the characters with chronic illness only have a certain time left in their life, they will go back to their bucket list and try to fulfill everything on the list. They are not just dreams or goals, they are representations of the life that we really want to live and what kind of person we want to be. But throughout the course of our life, some of us had forgotten that list and instead, we're chasing another list that I like to call the society list, such as being liked by everyone, being the best at everything, follow the rules, don't make mistakes, status is everything. By pursuing that list, we choose a life that is safe, familiar, comforting, right, and acceptable by society. We're choosing a life that has been lived by many other people before us. It's not that wrong, but what if we suppress ourselves by doing that? And we actually make ourselves stuck in place fulfilling a dream and living a life that isn't actually our own. We should have our own path to walk, our own things to learn and master at our own pace. If you find yourself in a path that actually doesn't align with your values, you're feeling ashamed to express your thoughts and you're just living in the comfort zone all the time, yet you are still feeling everything is a struggle. It's a sign that you are not living your own life. dig deeper, maybe that happened because of fear. We fear of rejection. We fear of being the worst. We fear of being the last. We fear of failures. We fear of being different. We fear of being disliked. We fear of being alone. 
When we driven by the fear, that means we are living in a survival mode. And sooner or later, we are going to realize that we are chasing a dream that we never dream of, and we become a person we never want to be. And sometimes the best thing we can do to ourselves is letting things go. Maybe it's not easy and it's impossible to quit things all at once, but at least you have a better perception now. On the other hand, what will happen if we make our list? Our dreams, not from a place of fear, but from a place of wonder. Just like when we were a child, mostly everything that we did comes from a place of excitement, curiosity, and wonder. We get energized when we do everything from this mental state. Of course, we will still face challenges and hardships along the way, but having this kind of mental state makes challenge more enjoyable and do not feel so hard, because we know exactly those are the things that we really want. Our wishes and goals will become truly meaningful to us, because they are not just some requirement list to be fit into some rules or expectations. Wonder is like a warm feeling in the cold of winter season. Warm pot. Soothing our nerve system immediately. Cozy blanket, engulfing our whole body with comfort. Hot cup of tea, relax our mind, body, and soul. Warm hug, makes everything feel better. Heart to heart conversation, bringing our heart closer to each other. Just like that, we can also bring wonder again into our lives through simple things that bring warmth to our hearts. A blanket of self hug. We know the press, we are our own worst critics, but on the other hand, we are also our own best supporter, our own best caregiver, our own best coach, our own best therapist. No one will ever know us better than ourselves. This blanket of self-hug will remind us to do all of that for ourselves without waiting someone else to give it to us. When you make mistakes, how do you talk to yourself? Are you being harsh or are you kind to yourself? The warmth of this blanket will remind us to being gentle with ourselves, to forgive, to let go, and learn from the mistakes. No other opinion, critic, cynicism and comparison that are greater than our own self-talk. No matter what other people perception about us, the most important thing is how do we talk, think, and believe about ourselves. When we sleep, this blanket will make sure that we have dream that is our own real dream, not someone else's dream or the common dream according to the society. And therefore, after we wake up full with the warmth feeling, we will make sure to not leave our dream to be just a dream. 
Wear this blanket and thank yourself for being alive, for working hard, for being strong, for being kind. Appreciate your accomplishment, your growth, and your good deeds. But also, whenever you are tired and need some break from pursuing your dream, it's okay to rest. Just be grateful for who you are without anything related to achievement. box of inner child chocolate we all know children love to play always curious excited and honest about their feelings whether they are happy or sad they also love to listen stories because it takes them to their imaginary world where they can see fairies kings queens talking animals and magnificent kingdom. Children will never do something that they don't feel comfortable. They never ashamed of saying no to someone. They are not afraid to dream big. They are not afraid of judgment. They are laughing at silly things and dancing to the music. They are confident no matter what. When we have an inner knowing that inside every one of us there is an inner child that's always ready to be the main character of our life. This will boost our attitude, confidence, and happiness. We can write our own list, our own story, our own authentic and fulfilling life. A warm cup of present moment tea. To dream and wonder what we want in life is a good thing. A good and lasting thing takes time. We need to take one step at a time every day. The beauty lies on the journey itself. You can dream big, aim high, but nothing beats when we are focused to our present moment. Since we are not the same person every day, we can be full of energy on one day and be lethargic or tired the other day. We push ourselves to work hard on the day we are full of energy and being gentle with ourselves when we need some space to rest. We can be both and both are still productive. Let's not focus about being perfect in each and every day. It's about continuously showing up for ourselves. Remind ourselves time to time to just being in the present and believe in the process. Fireworks of our heart In the end, we are the one who has to live with ourselves our whole life. We are always going to be the person staring back at ourselves in the mirror. Rather than thinking that we need to work hard our whole life, we need to get it together so we won't be left at the bottom ladder of the society. Why not shift our mindset and thinking more loving and softer to ourselves? Like I deserve to live a life worth of living. That's why I work hard to get there because I love my life. This kind of approach will help us to set boundaries towards the society belief system and values. Which one we want to adopt, which one we doesn't need. 
not everything that the world over we can take and we are the one that need to assess our own process and progress not other people there will be a certain standard but not even those standards were to be compared with our value for just being a human just like we celebrate something nice with fireworks we can set a small fireworks occasionally inside our heart like the lady on my painting before she lit her own fireworks with magic in a cold winter night we don't need to have something spectacular to be celebrated you are alone as a whole human being deserve to be celebrated and you beautiful human being are in control of your own future